for dinner, we're doing burgers and french fries. I like to go as simple on the buns as possible. I usually buy this brand called Naked. This is uh, my second favorite, which is Dave's Killer Bread. Then we've got some cheddar cheese. I usually do American, but I just decided to switch it up and we're gonna do regular old Tillamook cheddar cheese. This is a local brand from Oregon, I believe. And then we're gonna do some grilled onions on it, some lettuce. This is butter lettuce really elegant and I love the fact that it comes with these little roots so it stays fresh way longer. This is a ground beef that I get from a local provider. I buy about a half a cow and so we have a ton of these one pound blocks of ground beef. This is an American Wagyu. And then for the french fries, this is my favorite brand right now, Alexia Yukon Gold. We're gonna deep fry these guys in pork fat. I still have oil from last time. I'm gonna go to replenish it. Oh, that's hot, that's hot. I always do two fries. Uh, one just to get it fried up and ready, but it's not quite crispy. And then the second fry right before we eat. So it's hot and ready and it's crispy, but we still got about three hours till dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the first fry now, let it cool down, put it in the freezer, and then get the burgers ready and then maybe take a nap because I'm kind of tired, still jet lagged. And then we're gonna have dinner tonight and then the french fries don't need that uh, first fry, it's already done. I'm gonna also put it into the freezer because when you put it into the freezer, it helps extract even more moisture. This is a little trick I learned. Only downside is I've gotta clean that table. This pork fat, what I do is because it's usually solid, I put it into hot water to melt it because it doesn't take that much to melt it then make sure you drive it off. You don't want any moisture in your oil. Then, then it's easier for it to come out. See that? Oh, another thing, I'm using a Staub pot, which retains so much heat, so then it keeps the temperature for much longer. That's what you want when you're making crispy french fries. So I got my setup. So nice to be back here in the backyard. I'm gonna do the first fry. Usually what I do is I fry these up at 280 degrees. This is the Breville PolyScience Control Freak. This little probe goes all the way up here and goes into the oil. So I know exactly what temp the oil is gonna be at, which is awesome when you're deep frying. This is pro level at home. Now this machine, it's expensive. If you want it, I'm telling you, it's an investment. Most people don't need it, but it's commercial grade for caterers, companies, or if you're obsessed about food like me. So, okay, what I'm gonna do first, what I like to do, is I put the french fries in there. These are frozen french fries. So I'm gonna do the first fry, and I just slowly drop it in without splashing. Oh, there we go. Okay. So the temp is set at 280. Just dropped it in there, set the timer to five minutes, and then I'll just do the first fry. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook all the French fries right now, and then put them aside, maybe even in the freezer. All right, timer just went off. Remove it, and I like to use this basket here. Normally you put the basket in there, but with the thermometer or the probe, it doesn't quite work. So I'm just gonna use it to let it drain. So I just did the first fry, and I will let these sit probably put them inside because I don't want any critters to get to it. But yeah, I'll go for a walk, prep the burgers, prep the ingredients, start frying the french fries so the girls have something to snack on, 
and then we'll eat dinner. Burgers and fries. Short walk. Made the girls come with me. Daddy almost slipped there. on some moss. There's like a lot of puddles there. Yeah. Riding my bike and I saw a snake cross it and I was so scared. When she runs her headphones. I've got the beef ready and it's thawed out. I will weigh each patty so that they cook in a uniform manner. When I used to do smash burgers, I would smash it with this smasher on the griddle. It's really greasy and it splatters everywhere and sometimes it burns you. When I do it this way, not only is it a little bit safer, but it's way more convenient. It can happen faster, especially if you're smashing, I'm gonna say, let's see, probably 10 burgers today because some of the girls want to. I just find it way more convenient, so cheers. I always like having beer when I cook burgers for some reason. Zero out my scale. So I'm gonna go for 90 today. And all I do is I ball it up like that and then it's ready to smash a little bit later. Then after I make these balled up evenly weighed patties, I will smash them and I'll show you how I do that afterwards. All right, next I take parchment paper and I just roll it out. Then I'm gonna cut just big enough so that I can put the burger patties in between and then I'm gonna smash it with the tool I used to use when I smash it on the griddle right here. Put the burger bowl right on there, just like that. Take another piece of parchment paper. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and smash it a little bit. And I just smash it until I kind of see it at the edges. Now the burger bun is definitely smaller than this patty, but the thing about beef patties, they shrink up. As you can see, this is, I mean, it's pretty easy to tell this is way bigger than the burger bun. But like I said, it's gonna shrink up. I like smash burgers because I don't like it when it's all balled up. I'm gonna put some salt on there, not too much, just enough to flavor it. Black pepper, there you go. And that's how it's done. And then I'm just going to stack it. go so what I'll do here I'll put these into the fridge and they'll just wait you can do this the day before if you want I do it usually in the morning but I got kind of busy so got my helper here she's getting the buns prepared with the buns all we're gonna do is we're going to butter them and toast them and here is the clarified butter that I use both for toasting the buns and for cooking the burgers great job now we're just gonna toast these I like to put it in the oven broil function and I'm just gonna barely brown the tops get them golden brown and then they'll be ready I don't want to overcook these because I don't have any other buns so I really pay attention to this so like I said I'm gonna watch these very very closely that one's mine but the rest cooked nicely and those are ready to go when the burgers are ready tonight i'm gonna do onions similar to how they do it at other smash burger places you can use mandolin cut it up nice and uh, thin and then i'm gonna put it on the other side of the burger so this is gonna be amazing i don't take chances i do use this i want this super super thin so it just cooks very easily go Whew. so Judy's asleep right now so I'm taking over the vegetable side dish oh thank you that's perfect Judy marinated these Brussels sprouts overnight or I think maybe this morning anyways I'm gonna put them on the pan convection oven cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes mmm smells good normally Judy puts this into the Bravo toaster oven but there's so many here I just want to cook it all at once and since she's not here I will do it my way but she would insist on doing on that brubble. Before I start cooking the burgers I'm gonna get one thing of french fries going for the girls. Oil is at 350 degrees 
It's actually set a little bit higher, but it's because it's so cold out here. Oh, yes. The key to french fries is really hot oil and don't overfill the pot. A lot of people want to cook too many french fries all at once, but that's what you want to hear. Alright, it's nice and hot. Oh yeah, this might be a little bit too hot. That's all good. Let's cook up a little bit of these. Just a little bit. Patty, right on, just like that. It needs to be super hot. Same thing with this too. Take a little bit of this, put it on top of there. One thing I'm definitely gonna do though is put a little bit of clarified butter on there, right on the top. Oh my God, okay. Oh yeah, about how hot you want it. I'm gonna just close it off now. Oh, baby. It doesn't take that long to cook. There you go. First two burgers are ready. So one thing I like to do to kind of clean the, the pan, put these on there. Soaks up all the stuff. And then these will be ready to go for the next one. Got my pan right here. See, these onions have already cleaned off the pan quite a bit and they're ready for the burgers, the next ones. Probably blazing hot though. Should probably be careful. You ready for Brussels sprouts? Mm mm mm. Oh yeah. So for my burger, just pickles, Chick Fil A sauce because we ran out of ketchup. Mm. One more. Oh, it's still hot. Some French fries. Oh, you ready for your hamburger? Mine. Moment of truth. See what Judy thinks about these. Mmm. Right? That was so good. Right? Thank you. That was so good. Aren't you glad I waited for you? Mm-hmm. I think the that's better than normal. Oh my gosh. That is so good.